After years of divisions, Libya's new unity government is formed in the eastern city of Tobruk. 35 ministers, including the country's first female foreign minister, were sworn into office. The ceremony was attended by members of parliament, the new presidential council, as well as several ambassadors, and broadcast on most TV channels here on what many are calling a historic day. Their main goal? To lead the country until nationwide elections are held in December. Now is the time for Libyans to forgive each other and forget the past. After years of divisions and fighting and after many months of negotiations, we're now able to announce a new government that unifies all Libyans. The new Prime Minister, Abdel Hamid Dabeiba, has promised to improve government services and unify state institutions. But that won't be easy. The hardest challenge facing this government will be forcing foreign fighters, who now occupy large parts of this country, out. They constitute a major obstacle to the government and to elections, so it must be a priority. We do not want a foreign presence in Libya, and this is a popular demand. Wissam Ezwaghi is a local journalist in Tripoli and says people want action. We hope that this government will not be like their predecessors and help the average citizen. For 10 years, Libyans have heard empty promises. That's made it hard for them to believe politicians. In order for the government to gain popular support, they should focus on domestic issues that touch citizens, like providing electricity and basic services, before looking to international and political issues. While the government has many challenges, for many here in Tripoli, it's COVID-19 that needs to be addressed first. The government needs to focus on the health sector and make getting COVID-19 vaccines a priority. Once we get COVID under control, we can begin to look at other issues. After being sworn into office in the eastern city of Tobruk, the new executive authority will return to Tripoli. The outgoing Prime Minister, Faiz Sarraj, will hand over power on Tuesday in Libya's first peaceful transition since 2012. And with that, the beginning of a difficult road for the national unity government. Mal Trena, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.